Hi everyone! I have a project I'd like to share with you before I get it in the mail. And this is a altered box that um, I made for my friend Teresa. Happy birthday, Teresa! This is on its way to you. And um, I had this Graphic 45 D, uh, Steampunk Debutante paper pad for a while. And I hadn't used it. And I don't know if I was just hoarding it or if maybe I just didn't have the right project for it. But my friend Teresa loves the steampunk debutante. So I thought that would be perfect for her um, gift. And what I did was I picked up this box at Michael's on Friday. And um, yesterday I worked on it and got this all put together for her and... I can't show you what the box looked like originally because, of course, I just picked up one. But um, it's just an unfinished box, a little wood box. And um, I painted the entire box with a terracotta uh, acrylic paint. And then I covered it with the paper from this collection. Um, I also added some little wood feet um, here. And it already came with the hardware, so it opens up, and I just covered it all the way around exactly the same. And I didn't do anything to the sides other than add this, this really pretty paper. This is a terracotta color with um, like a beige um, stripe, and then I edged it with vintage photo and did the same thing there. I added a cute little butterfly right here. And on the bottom, um, I used the Tim Holtz Baroque die, and I cut this out of that ledger paper from the collection. I just put happy birthday, my friend, love ya, and my name. And um, so these are the little wooden feet that I used. And on the top, I covered the top with the um, this really pretty paper. It's got the roses and stuff on there. And um, so I covered it with that. And then I cut her out, and... You can see on the wings and on the on the hat, there's, um, there you go, you can see it there. What I did on the wings and the hat is I wanted them to stand out, but I didn't want to use glossy accents because I am very impatient and I don't want to have to wait for it to dry. So what I did was I um, added beauty to the wings and they feel, I love the way they feel, and to the hat as well. And then when I was setting the UD, I put the heat tool underneath this way, and then the heat made the wings curl. And I love the way that looks. Look at that dimension on there. And then I adhered her to the box with um, dimensional stickers. And then here um, are some Kaiser Craft Black Pearl Flourishes. And then these are some... Prima leaves in the autumn colors, and then these are some I am roses, and here's a Tim Holtz um, token that says imagine, and then here's a couple of gears tucked in here, and then this is a butterfly, and on the butterfly and on this image, I um, used some Mod Podge on both front and back to give them some stability so they would last a little longer, and then you open up the box. I painted the inside as well. So I painted the inside, I put some paper underneath, and then my husband cut these little um, strips of, it's like a little trim, and um, then I painted it and glued those in there. And what this is, my friend Teresa loves her tea, so I just grabbed a couple of tea bags from my, from my stash. And so I'm going to fill this with tea, like this, and then she can have her tea in there and I didn't put them in there because I wanted you to see the inside of the box and then the inside of the lid says tea time and then this cute little image comes came from the collection as well and it says time flies and then I added some beauty over the clock face and then there's a ledger she can actually write down her favorite teas or whatever just really cute so this is an altered tea box and that is a birthday gift for Teresa. So again, Teresa, happy birthday. I wish you the best um, today and, and always. Many blessings to you and um, 
I hope that you like your altered tea box. So maybe someday we can have some tea together. And um, <clears throat> so I hope you like it. And thank you everyone for watching. Bye-bye.